welcome to the Notre Dame ePortfolio program hosted by Digication. This video is a brief tutorial on how to download your template, explore your ePortfolio, publish your ePortfolio, and submit your assignments. This video is specifically focused on first year advising ePortfolios, but the skills we go over can be used for any ePortfolio you may create in the future for study abroad, a specific course, or showcasing a particular project. Feel free to follow along with the video and build your ePortfolio. Don't forget there are written instructions available, as well as a few other videos to help if you get stuck or want to personalize your ePortfolio further. Downloading your template. The first thing you'll need to do is go to ePortfolio.nd.edu. This will bring you to Notre Dame's ePortfolio website. On the left side of the page, you'll see two buttons. Go ahead and click NetID Login and log in using your NetID and password. This will bring you to the Notre Dame ePortfolio dashboard. On the left side of the page, you'll see a sidebar called My ePortfolios. Click on the green button with a plus sign. Clicking this button will pull up the Create Your ePortfolio page. The first thing you'll need to do on this page is name your ePortfolio usually something relevant to the portfolio's purpose. For example, for an advising ePortfolio, you might title it Your Name and then Advising ePortfolio. You'll see some permission settings underneath your ePortfolio's URL. Your ePortfolio will stay private until it's published. We'll adjust those settings later. Next, you'll see a few templates available for you to choose from. There is always a generic default template or there might be a template available for a course you're enrolled in. For incoming freshmen creating your advising ePortfolios, you'll need to find the template called 2018-19 FYS Advising with your advisor's name or your cohort number and select it. Then click Create in the bottom right-hand corner and you finish the first step. Exploring your ePortfolio. Let's take a quick tour through this template. First, you'll see an About Me page. Here, you can give a brief introduction about who you are, where you're from, what you like to do, etc. There is an Options and Opportunities page under the First Year tab that has a ton of resources available if you're looking for more information on a variety of topics, ranging from study strategies to research to career planning. Under First Year, you'll also notice two other subpages called Initial Thoughts and Mid-Year Review. Those are where you'll find your assignments to submit to your advisor. Next, you'll notice a notebook page. This is a great place to store information to help you organize and achieve your goals. Here, you can store your best academic work, potential references, links to internships you're interested in, and evidence of participation in clubs and activities. This page will be very useful when building your resume to apply for internships and jobs. Finally, you'll see the help page. This is a page that you don't have to edit or even publish, but it contains a number of helpful links if you have technical issues as you build your ePortfolio or if you have questions. You will notice that the first year advising template has instructions at the top of each page to guide you through the process of filling out the ePortfolio. You can customize your ePortfolio however you like. This will be a resource to share with your advisor and help you reflect on your first year at Notre Dame as you figure out what you're interested in studying and learn to manage your goals. For now, you definitely need to complete the About Me page and the Initial Thoughts assignment in your ePortfolio. I would recommend typing your answers somewhere else and copying and pasting them into the text boxes, just in case you have technical difficulties. Publishing your ePortfolio. Next, we're going to publish your ePortfolio so it's visible to your advisor. You can do this either by going to the three bar icon in the top right corner and clicking settings, or the same screen will pop up the first time you try to publish a page. You should keep your advising ePortfolio private, but it should also already be shared with your advisor. So all you should have to do is click save settings and publish in the lower right. If you are creating a non-advising template, you can decide who you would like to share your ePortfolio with and change your settings accordingly. When you are finished creating your ePortfolio and you complete the advising assignment, don't forget to publish each page that you want visible. Others that you specify in your permission settings can only see the pages that you actually publish. 
Any page with unpublished changes will have a reminder at the top of the screen that you can click to publish your most recent changes. You can check to make sure that all of your desired pages are published by clicking the three bar icon in the top right corner and clicking Publish Pages. This will show you which pages are drafts and which are published. You can check and make sure that the pages look how you want them to by switching to Published View in the top right corner. Submitting an assignment. Finally, to submit your completed initial thoughts assignment, go to the three bar icon and click Submit to Course. Since the template is linked to the advising course you are enrolled in, you should have two active assignments. Make sure to select 2018-19 FYS Advising Assignment Number 1, Initial Thoughts, and select your pages to submit. Choose both your About Me and Initial Thoughts pages and click Publish and Submit in the lower right. Continue to build your ePortfolio throughout your time at Notre Dame. This is a resource to help you stay organized and to track your progress throughout your Notre Dame journey. Since this advising ePortfolio contains more private information, you might want to go back and create a second public ePortfolio using the default template to allow you to connect with other students, use for classes, prepare for study abroad, and more. The possibilities are endless. Have fun!